What's up, challengers? Welcome to the gym. My name's Gym Leader Gio, and this is week eight of the APA. The San Francisco Giant is going up against its Gator, Gator himself, and the Florida Gators, all the Gators. Uh, we are about to select our team. If you're curious about the team I brought, you can see them over there, and you can learn more about the thought process that went into it in the locker room, which is the video that went up immediately prior to this one. Uh, above me, you can see Gators 11 drafted moms, and uh, we're gonna select team one. And the music, am I feeling Lysander? Why not? We'll let the battle begin. So, uh, maybe Coco, Whimsicott, Mamoswine, Steelix, Umbreon, Manaphy. Just a uh, gun to my head. Gun to my head. Let's see if that's the six. Selecting Pokemon. Okay, so very offensive. No Umbreon, no Steelix. Instead, we got Landorus and uh, Miss Magius. Okay, so um, pretty good uh, estimations on my part. The Miss Magius will be annoying, uh, but it's a good thing he brought it, I think. As far as lead options... Uh, I'm gonna lead with Bromo'o. There's a really... There's several opportunities for me to switch into other Mons if I need to. Bromo'o is good against the possibility of Mamamo Swine lead. If he did want to get rocks, it could catch the uh, Whimsicott off guard as well. Sorry if you hear any late teens screaming on the outside. Of, I think the kids across the road have some friends. So uh, good luck to my friend Gator here, looking at his team. Ice pretty good, don't have any steel or ghost. Rider, okay. Um, yeah, I should have thought this one through a little bit more, I think. I don't really have anything for this guy. He pretty much hard walls me. I wouldn't mind some rocks. This is a potential defogger. He's got three potential defoggers on his team. Um, I do have some things lying around that would probably be okay to take these hits. Let's see. Of all of the Assault Vesters, not Dragology. Drompa? Drompa wouldn't do bad. I don't know that this gentleman has a move that would... Um, so I don't necessarily need Bromo, -O, so I could just get up rocks and then he could get up rocks. Let's just do that. Let's just go rocks right now. <clears throat> so he's going to see him scarfed. I think he'll get rocks too, to be honest. No, it just goes EQ. So he's physical. I took that okay. I can find out how uh, offensive that is. That looks like uh, coverage damage, so I think he's still special, to be honest. Oh no, that would be if he were Life Orb. He's not Life Orb. Uh, no, so that would probably be like Jolly 252 attack, maybe. Okay. Uh, he knows I'm Scarfed, because I outsped him. We could go Ditto here. I mean, we haven't seen an item. It's nothing offensive about that. Definitely not like banded or anything. Could be lefties. Let's go ditto anyway. Let's see what he's got for himself. If he's got hidden power, that's great. I'm hidden power ice. He's gonna get up his own stealth rock. So we're double rocks. And he is earthquake, explosion, hidden power, and stealth rock. So hidden power, a relatively safe click, except that it could bait in the Manaphy. So if he were to go Manaphy, I think I'd wanna be Drompa. I'm pretty sure Gator knows how Ditto works and he'll know that I need to have chosen that ice is my hidden power, but there's still just such an incredibly good chance that he's that anyway. 
So my question is if he's Yachi, am I throwing this away? I think Dromp is more important than Ditto. Let's click Hidden Power Ice here. Yeah, he's gonna stay in. No Yachi, he'll live it. He got Hidden Power as well. I'll probably go down to it, to be honest. Yeah, that's a bummer. Oh well. Ditto uh, was pretty expendable in this match, actually. So uh, the question is whether or not Komo'o... So if I claim a kill with Komo'o... Because he knows it's Scarfed. He learns nothing from the blue one coming in. He has no dark type. I can click Psychic pretty easily. Does he have anything? He has no psychic resists or weaknesses. So I can just click psychic. That's relatively safe. This tells him nothing. He doesn't know that I'm scarfed just because I came in with a month faster than him already. So we'll exchange claimed ones. Five five rocks up on both sides. Probably hurts me more than it hurts him. I mean, he does have a mammoth swine. Psychic will do seventy eight to ninety three to a fully offensive one. So possibility that he dies after stealth rock. Thirty one percent chance. Oh god, do we risk this? Thirty-one percent chance, and that's assuming he is timid with absolutely no defenses. Latios's main role. Surf would be good for the Mamo. He's seen two scarfers. He's confident this is not scarfed. This could really surprise him. I'm actually gonna do it. No, he's gonna click sub. This will, but this won't give away anything. I could go Komo'o. No, no, I could not. I'm clicking Psychic here. And hoping that he is not defensive at all. Not scarfed. <laughs> oh, he stays in, please. 30% chances, Oko's. Too slow, ah, oh, man. That'll take me out, almost certainly. Yeah, so almost certainly specs. <laughs> Tip for tat, boys. All right, he's weakened. We're down to our last scarfer, which is bro mo -O. <sighs> Latios gone, ditto gone. We are going blazing fast here, ladies and gentlemen. We've lost most of the scarfers on the team. But here's the fun thing. I've shown him three scarfed mons, so he might think literally the whole team is scarfed. So I might be able to go in on, say, Drompa right now. How do I want to do this? No, Drompa even scarfed wouldn't outspeed him. Komo'o. What can I lock into? Let's go Komo'o here. I can't lock into fighting, obviously. I think I have to poison jab. Yeah, I have to. Uh, I, I'm regretting this right now, actually. So, because if he has something that can set up, I already clicked off Whimsicott. I think I meant to click off Latios, but <laughs> we're all caught up now. 4-4, four, four. Um, advantage him. He could go Miss Magius here with relative impunity. If the Manaphy is a setup Manaphy, then he almost certainly goes that now and I'm in tons of trouble if he's a setup Manaphy. Tons. Drompa being my best bet against it, but um, 
Because he'll almost certainly have Ice Beam. Why wouldn't he? It, it might kill after rocks. It might kill me after rocks. There's not a guarantee. That's Timid Waterium Z Ice Beam. But he might be Sub-Zero Slammer. Uh, we gotta see. We gotta see here. Uh, the beauty of Drompa being that if I were to survive a hit and get Berserk popped, Energy Ball is almost certainly going to KO him unless he has some caster. That's got to be, right? Oh, okay. That's okay. So, Dazzling Gleam, right? That's like almost certainly what we're expecting. Uh, I still need Dragalgy for... I think Drompa's got to be the one, but the question needs to be, how does Dragalgy do against Manaphy? Uh, roughly as good, but no guarantee that I'll take it out. So Drompa, the thing about Drompa is that obviously Shadow Ball I take just fine, but I think Dazzling Gleam is coming. So we both know that, so let's look. Miss Magius. Could be Nasty Plot, Dazzling Gleam. Uh, and I won't kill it. Whereas with this boy, Dragology is the play. Yeah, there's the nasty plot. Uh, I will survive a plus two Dazzling Gleam just fine. Um, how about Psychic? I will also survive a plus two Psychic. So he can either have wasted this. Uh, Draco Meteor will take him out. So either he wasted this. Yeah. We'll kick Draco. What's he got for me, Psychic? Let's see, show me. This is this is tit for tat. <laughs> this is very much tit for tat here. <laughs> My team makes no sense, but we're 4-4. Four, four. Ah, no. Please don't be psychic. What is this? What is this? Ferium? Twinkle Tackle! I'll survive that for sure. Yeah, that'll do 52 to 61. Bump! And then... No! I cannot catch a break with Dragon Jim. I did 113. That's modest damage. Uh, there is a roll that kills me. That's so unfortunate. He could go Coco right now. Oh. God, that's heartbreaking. That breaks my heart. I I'm forced to now. He knows I was going to click Draco. He could so easily go Coco. I have to click it again. I have to. He could go Coco right here. No, he's going to Shadow Ball. I'll take that. Oh, uh, I guess not. Uh, I 
kind of forgot about that one. That, that breaks my heart. That miss. I, because I'm trying so hard here with a team that All right. Okay, he's plus two. I need Drompa for the mana fee. Kurum can't take him on. So the question is, can Kurum do anything to this guy? Because he's at plus two now. Like, another reason... It's absolutely ridiculous. I cannot catch a break. In the, all of these four games, I've missed a 90% accuracy move twice now. Something that's supposed to occur 25% of the time has occurred 75% of the time. I can't catch a break. Uh... Kirim. Kirim doesn't really serve a purpose. Draco has a chance to take him out. Another thing I could do is Ice Beam and then go Komo'o. Because Komo'o should be able to kill him with a Poison Jab. I actually don't think I can. Well, I still can. Um, no, he's modest. We know that. Dazzling Gleam should not have the ability to KO me. This is such a bummer. It really is just so heartbreaking. I don't think Dazzling Gleam can do 151 to me. Draco after Stealth Rocks. 87% chance to Oko. I think we do it. it like, it kind of, even if I get the kill, it baits in something else. So maybe I go Ice Beam instead. And then I have to go Como. Oh, no. I have to, I have to Draco now. I should survive this. Yep. I need this to kill, though. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, 87.5% chance to Oko does not get it. The dragon, it does not want me to do this, guys. Oh, boy. Seriously cannot catch a break. Cure him down. So now I'm forced to go Komo'o. But... What can I click? I'm going to have to switch out of this later. Anyway, he might as well just save it. Poison Jab, Baits in, Mamo Swine, Thunder Punch, also Baits in, Mamo Swine, and I can't click close, close Combat. Because I need Drompa for Manaphy, so I should have gone Drompa. But then I wouldn't have been able to take on Manaphy, so... ah. Uh, I think my, well, I think I misplayed. I think what I had to do was go, I mean, well. Drop against that. Yeah, it's, it's GG. 
I think I had to have gone Drompa there. Mm. Thunder Punch here. This Magus goes down. I seriously, I'm so... That miss. This would have been a completely different game. Completely different game. I would have had two more Mons alive right now. So how can I do this? Uh, I have to hope... See, I should have gone poison. See, I already, I'm, I'm tilted now, because now I do zero damage to him. And I just realized, like some damage would have been nice. Drompa's gonna have to take a hit from Mama Swine no matter what. Assuming it's Life Orb. Let's just assume. Can't take an Icicle Crash. Can't take one and I'll get out sped. So probably makes more sense to just sack Drompa. Bromoto comes in in close combats. Maybe if I'm lucky I claim a kill. Yeah, there was no way to not bait in Mammoth Swine. I needed to have hit that. <laughs> when it was 4v4, the crucial... I Like, I had to hit that. I had to hit that. If I hit that, Miss Magius got zero kills. Instead, Miss Magius got two. And forced me into an endgame scenario where he literally needs to choke. And I, I see no reason why he wouldn't. So, I have to sack Gramps. I suppose it's possible this thing is also scarfed. So Drompa goes down. What do we see? Hit three times. Any life orb damage? No. <sighs> then we click close combat and at the very least hope we bring this to a 2-0 loss. I, I didn't expect I was going to lose, but this was a different game. Again, it comes down to this was a different game if I was able to get off that Draco. Just like last match, it was a different game if I was able to get the Gigavolt Havoc off because it had a chance to kill as well. Like this is, and the time, the, the first game, it was a different game, it was actually a win if I'd landed one Iron Tail. That was it, that was game. This is the third time in a row, not necessarily that I won if something different happened, but like it's a different game. And that's just, that just sucks. Yeah, he's got Ice Shard. This will probably take me out. Yeah. GG. <laughs> GG to Gator. Uh, he played great, um, and he brought the team he needed to bring to win. Uh, he definitely played everything correctly. I thought my curveballs did me pretty well. I know I put myself into this position by playing gyms, by playing a gym leader. I know I put myself into this position, but I'm admittedly very frustrated right now because I brought a curveball hoping that if something just kind of went my way, just a little bit, that I could get a win here. I had a psychic that had a chance, a 30% chance to kill Whimsicott and it did not. I had a Draco that all it had to do was hit, and I got a kill on Miss Magius, which was at plus two at the time. It did not hit. I had a chance to Oko with Curum's Draco, and it did not hit. And it's just like, how unlucky do I have to get, like, trying to pursue a win here? And I know this is not usual Geo, you guys normally see me like laughing at stuff like this, but the, the hacks have been, you know, piling up on me. It's like when it happens once, you, you, you laugh it off, but when it happens like three out of four matches, I don't know. Uh, so I'm going to go chat. Uh, let's do some shout outs. Thank you to Gator 
for the game, buddy, and thank you for being um, uh, really easy to schedule with. We did this super last minute and just threw it together, and I appreciate that, man. Uh, and thank you to Kurt the Buzzwell, who gen my team. Uh, leave some comments in the comment section down below. As always, my name is Jim Leader Geo. You guys are the challengers. Thanks for stopping by. I will see you guys tomorrow with a draft recap for draft number three.